All right, so sis and sharks aside. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! How long, did we watch that for? Like thirty minutes? Just about. So, yeah. Jeez. Wow. Thirty minutes of sis. That was. Just, all right, crisis. Right, crisis. <laughs> this is a cliff, and I'm trying not to fall off it. <laughs> Don't fall off this, bro. I warned you about cliffs. I told you about the stairs. <laughs> no st there's no staps here. No staps. No staps. No st none. None. Dude, I found the whole archive of the Sweet J and Hella Jeff videos, the comics, and I just laughed my ass off for like two hours. <laughs> Best stoner comic ever. I know, right? I has rock. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Why was there a pile of blood and a gun? Nobody. And then he stopped being dead. And you completely fucking go the wrong way, and whoops! Oh! And you didn't even take any fucking damage. I took one armor damage, and that was it. I thought it would kill me, but apparently not. I love that in games where you can manage to slide down the mountain and not hurt yourself too much. Jeez. I mean, it holds some merit, but it's still gonna fucking hurt when your ass has been cheese grated along the mountainside, you know? Yeah, and then spits grow out of your ass. <laughs> They have access to pop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's really bad though? Don't ever shave your ass hair. I realize. <laughs> oh. But don't ever. No. Don't no. ever get. Rid of it. No. Always trim. Oh, the best video. Holy shit. But do not. Don't ever get rid of all of it. And do not nair it. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? There's a horrible story to that. Tell me. Because I was thinking of doing that. It's not what? my story, though. Think about that. That's, that's just a terrible idea. Why? Ter because you're not supposed to use it in, like, areas like that. I mean, I know girls do it. your balls. That's what it's gonna do. Okay, so what's, what happens if you do that? Hold on, let me get it. There's a hold. Hold on, give me a second. One. Okay, I need longer than that. <laughs> and this crisis video, I believe I'm swimming. Uh... Oh, here it is. Yeah. All right. This is how this is gonna go down. During the Southern Boy tour, while looking for a bar on the streets of downtown Charleston with Mike Peterson, I remarked, "Fuck my asses. I don't think I wiped properly this morning." I hate that. Mike said. I've got so much hair down there, it's like shitting through a mesh net, I said. But <laughs> <laughs> he neared his ass, he said. What? I was dumbfounded. I've never heard of anyone successfully plowing the anal field. The last person I saw try it was Ethan Fowl when he was when he shaved his ass at our house. He was pleased with it for a while, but when the hair grew back in, he was miserable. There was pain in his eyes. I decided I never wanted to go through that, ever, and so I resigned myself to the fact that I would forever spend long spells sitting upon the toilet, wiping the dung from my matted crack like I'm <laughs> frosting off a wedding cake with paper towel. Is that an itch when it goes back in, I asked? No, he said. It never lets it go back. Oh, that is a croissant. Staring. That is a croissant. Oh yeah, the croissant, the croissant. No, it's a banana. It's a banana. No, it's a banana. Oh. Banana does not belong in asshole. <laughs> Continue I'm, the story. I'm just gonna jump to the part where the guy starts nearing his ass. <laughs> I didn't quite understand that nair chemically burns your hair off until I was squatting nude in the bathtub reading the direction. Shake well, I read. I can do that. Pour loads in the palm of hand, no problem. Smooth on thickly, but don't <laughs> rub it in. I was about to, I wasn't about to rub anything into my anus, but it was here I realized I didn't need him. It was kind of like the opposite of wiping, so I rubbed it around the inside of my butt cheeks and sat there while my girlfriend took pics of me squatting there nude in the tub. At first, it felt like Girl cold sun and lotion in the area where the sun don't shine, or cold diarrhea. But who's ever had cold diarrhea? Diarrhea is always hot. Hot shit. While I was thinking of hot shit, my ass started burning. Fuck. It's burning. The, the direction said to leave it on for four to ten minutes. I was only into my first minute, it was already very uncomfortable, but I stuck it up for another five minutes. It smells like burning hair, I remarked. No, it doesn't, my girlfriend says. It smells like burning ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think, no. 
Because when the five minutes were up, I was like, fucking hell, I gotta wash this shit off. And I turned on the shower, but she was like, no, no, wipe it up. We need to take a picture of it. She was right. It was the money shot. A palm full of razzmatazz and burnt butt hair. Beautiful. <laughs> I ran off screaming while I hosed my ass off. The first thing I noticed after I burnt my ass hair off was how different my farts felt and sounded. <laughs> well, the hair must have worked with the fundamentals in much the same speed with the liquid. Because instead of singing a gentle brown song like it used to, my asshole simply gurgled. <laughs> Slap together. <laughs> they sound really gross, like a wet fart. Not funny at all, and I think that's because <laughs> oh my gosh. between my crack. Because I love, I love. my parts really sink now. Actually, I don't know how they can sink any more than before, but the smell like someone else is on. <laughs> my first shit was a real doozy. A big drop <laughs> shit, but the wiping went well. It wasn't a one wiper though, it was a four wiper. <laughs> <laughs> For me, that's pretty good. The way shit starts on my ass, I don't think I could get under. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> oh my god, this is nothing to do with crisis, and I don't even care. <laughs> it's been seven minutes, and not a single thing has been said about crisis. <laughs> yeah, so I'm in this village killing these guys with my guns. <laughs> <laughs> so was, was the Nair idea successful? <laughs> I assume it was, but I mean, like, your butt's gonna be wrecked. Well, there's another story about a guy that actually shaves his ass, and he goes into better detail what life is like without ass hair, and it is horrible. I've lived that one time before, never again. <laughs> You've lived Remember, it? Do not cut it out. Do not. Why not? Doesn't it, like, grow back all ingrown, though, right? Well, some of them, well, no, it, it fucking itches, like you said, but when they fucking... Oh, it, it's just a nasty feeling, your ass sweats more, you can... <laughs> between your butt. It's like the hair actually acts as an anti-friction. <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking horrible. I'll have to find that, too. This is the best video, I swear to God. <laughs> The yeah, so crisis. I'm playing it. What's oh, yeah, up? Yeah, right. <laughs> We're talking about ass hair. <laughs> See, my friend had the idea of narrating his thing. What did you? He, yeah, he was serious. He was like, "Hey, did you hear about this thing there?" Why would you marry your team? That's even worse. And your dick is all fucked up. No. <laughs> thing Ben gay on your balls. Yeah, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> Alright, we use toothpaste you... either. Okay. What? You say toothpaste? Toothpaste. Don't ever. Don't ever. Why would you put toothpaste? I'd fuck your shit up. Dude, that's sounds like. like... That, that's retarded. It that sounded like. Absolutely retarded. <laughs> it sounded like a good idea at the time. How high were you? <laughs> a good idea at the time. <laughs> no, excuse me. How high do you have to be to think putting toothpaste on your balls is a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, how high are we talking? How high do you have to be to do something like that? Dude, like, is that like nine marijuanas there? <laughs> nine marijuanas? No, I think he went to eleven. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, he holy shit. shit. <laughs> it's funny though. It's really funny. <clears throat> Alright, so this is how this goes down. Don't shave the air. I recently made a mistake in my life and I offered. <laughs> You, that you may learn from my error. It also, as many things do, with me having trouble shitting. No, <laughs> constipated. This is not regularly a problem, but a matter of technique. It seems my ass hair had grown to such a length that tiny grogans were constantly getting tied up. <laughs> 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 it had such frustration with me knowing that I had something to drop, unable to shake the tenacious turd loose from this butt hair glove. Eventually, I would have to do two things. Either reach down with some paper and try to pinch off that link, which required careful precision to avoid smearing the creature all over my rear. Especially, I had no way of seeing what I was doing. Or 
broke, start wiping and hope that I can remove all the leftover fecal matter before the toilet paper reaches. <laughs> cannot be much. I'm contemplating this problem. While I had seemed to go, at the time, a bright idea. Hey, this is my butt my butt hair, right? So why don't I just eliminate all the hair? And then all my grogans will fall out like a beer from a <laughs> What the fuck is a grog? It is a statement that will go down in history with a lot of other regretted statements. How many Indians could there be? Said General Custer. <laughs> Looks like a good day for a drive by JFK. There, America Online was now complete Ethernet access by some idiot system tech. Such was my anal shaving idea. I performed the operation that night with a cheap <laughs> razor and a towel to sit on. Starting from the bottom and shaving to crack the cheeks, I began an artist process of ridding my hair. Occasionally, I would have to clean the razor of accumulated hair and miscellaneous slime, which I did by putting it on the towel. Slowly, my twin mounds in the between ravine began to resemble the hairless cheeks of a newborn baby. Poetic, dude. Holy shit. For the last time and surveyed my work. A tile was covered with a pile of hair. My ass was smooth as ivory. I smiled, satisfied, thinking my troubles were over. Little did I know. I now have a great respect for anal hair. Like everything in this world God created, it has a mighty purpose in existence. It was only after I had removed it that I started to learn how much I had been taking it for granted. For one, it provides friction. I learned this the next day, when I walked onto the sun heat heading for class. After climbing two flights of stairs and starting to sweat, I started to notice that something unpleasant. The sweat was accumulating in the crack, and it was causing an unpleasant sensation with my two ass cheeks sliding past each other. <laughs> Stop. I thought about going to the bathroom and wiping it off, but I had to get the clothes. <laughs> I thought it would dry. Unfortunately, it did dry, but only after mixing with the microscopic shit molecule blinkering on my brown circle. When I such sweat, my cheeks were stuck together with a slimy, sticky shit sweat. <laughs> As I made my way back to my dorm, it started to itch. God damn, did it itch. It felt like a swarm of ants was making its way up and down my crack. <laughs> Jamming my hands down there and scratching away, I rushed back to the dorm. Unfortunately, again, this exertion caused me to sweat, and when I finally reached my room, my cheeks were sliding back and forth against each other like a pair of horny cane toads. <laughs> I had to dry my ass off by sticking it in front of my fan and spreading my cheeks. I took two pounds of flesh apart. A horrible sense burst free and filled the room. Every dog or black radius started to fall. I had the worst of it all. The ripe aroma of festering shit went to the fan <laughs> again in my face. I fought to keep from heaving, and as I sat there, fighting vomit, my ass cheeks spread and dripping. <laughs> my body odor mixed with the tangy smell of my own shit falling right into my face. <laughs> only one thought. It would be like this until the ass hair grows back. Weeks. <laughs> Later on, trying to deal with the, as best I could wipe my ass at every opportunity, I discovered another wonderful use for ass hair. Ventilation. I attempted to launch apart only to have it get sucked between my ass cheeks. Apparently with no hair, the two pink twins can get vacuum sealed together. And as a result was a frustrating part that slid up and down between my ass cheeks. <laughs> as if that wasn't enough, I now I am now enduring further torture. As anyone who has other sure is first growing in comes in as stubble. Imagine your ass having the texture of a Brillo pad. Well, <laughs> that is what I am dealing with right now. It is a hellish torture. And there are many times when I look out the window and contemplate why I shouldn't just jump out and get all of the that, rather than a third of this constant agony. Sag, you, get, you gotta send me this after you're done. I'm okay. It's not my blood. Badowski look at this, you have a cutscene, you're just reading about ass. <laughs> Wait, who's this long? Asian chick? I've been on a different page. What's going on? What did I miss? <laughs> Do you still have the black dude on your team? Yeah, Prophet's still there, but we're rescuing a CIA informant. That's what's going on. Is he like, fuck the shit out of this bitch? I don't know, I don't think so. She doesn't seem to like us, like, uh, cause he calls her love and then she gets pissed about it. It's mm. the heli base above the oh my balls, god. Were you guys cracking up? Oh I headphones off. Can you yeah, send me this? Yeah. Where'd you find this? I, I need to know. Hold on. Oh my god. Listen to me. 
We've just in case oh, a Craigslist ad. Oh my god. It's actually not from Craigslist, it just got re uploaded here. But. <laughs> Wait, they posted it on the Craigslist? Original. It might be. I don't recall. Oh shit, the ceiling's going down. Time to get out of there. Yeah, I'm about to fight it. I'm fighting two tanks now. Wait, are the aliens coming back now? Uh, the aliens, they flew over the building, but they don't actually show up yet. Get Rosenthal's oh. team out of here and Darn. secure this island. But I'm fighting two tanks. This thing is you can't cool. let the Koreans have it. Shit's about to go down. Oh god. You take care of those tanks, mate. Loads of money. Oh my side. On to uh I have split so many sides on this day. <laughs> yeah, you really have. First it was cis, and then ass hair, and now fucking impersonating British blokes. Oh. 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 Oh, my lord. <clears throat> you have oh. to know Harry Einfield to understand, but, you know. Yes, yeah, so you oh, wait. Know they get we don't cis, we don't ass hair. Now we're talking, now we're watching tanks. What goes with tanks? Wait, that's it? One rocket and it's done? No, it takes four. Oh, shit. Where you shoot it? Oh my god, he almost died. Yeah, but the tank does a lot of damage, and that's not even the main gun. Yeah, I'll say. Fuck this shit up. I love the dual pistols now, they're so nice. Do bullets come through walls in this game, like in Counter-Strike? Uh, yeah, they will. It depends yeah. on the thickness of the wall, though. Oh. So if you get, like, behind a concrete bunker wall, they won't come through, but if you get, like, uh, these walls, they should. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and look at all this- look at this stock room. <laughs> Fucking grenades and RPGs. So fancy. I like how he just picks it up and none of them, like, fall out, even though, like, they're in possible angle. Let me take, like, 97 grenades. I got flashbangs and smoke grenades. Amazing. I was stupid and I got stuck on the flashbangs, but whatever. No, I got stuck on the smoke grenades instead of the flashbang, so I was trying to use the flashbang. <coughs> There's a tank. Main go. Oh. <laughs> Dead. Explode! Yeah, fucking Psycho, oh, supposed to be existing here this entire time in the village, you don't see him until he kicks down the door in the cutscene. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and the first time I played through this map, I spent the entire time clearing out guys, and this time I only cleared out about half of them, so I'm still killing about, like, 50 men here. Nice. Ooh, I have another story. It's unrelated to ass hair or set, but it is still a good one. Ooh, yes. Oh, god, Lord. Epic voice going on for this one. Oh man. <laughs> My body's ready. You didn't see this? <laughs> you didn't know what this is. This is a wasp. Its mission in nature is to fuck shit up wherever it goes. It does not pollinate things. It does not make honey. It is not bee. It is a motherfucking wasp. You cannot battle the wasp. The wasp is never alone. It is always accompanied by another, even more violent and aggressive wasps, all of which are, in turn, accompanied by even more. When you see a wasp, do you know what to do? You stand the fuck still. You chill the fuck out and hope the wasp doesn't put you on its list of shit it wants to fuck up that day. You stand right there, you stand right the fuck there, and wait for the wasp to finish its business and move on with this rampage, and then you go fuck home. Yeah, in that statement, I also took a tank out of the face right there while you were talking about wasps. Oh yeah? Yeah. You're pretty much the wasp in this video. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, you are the wasp. Yeah, I threw two smoke grenades Where's your aggressive, even more aggressive wasp that's with you? That's the British guy. He's the yeah, even more aggressive one. The and British then, guy is hella aggressive. And he's even more aggressive than the British guy. And then you have the bigger black guy, which is even more aggressive, and has a two-foot dick. <laughs> That's why you never see him, because he can't get around in this suit. <laughs> oh, <Sweet>. God. 
You changed your voice from that. It sounded like a, like a safety warning thing. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> it's the wasp, man. You don't fuck around. You best know what to do when the wasp sees you. It's not even looking at you. <laughs> it's just like, I use tank. <laughs> and here I thought the wall would physics, but it didn't. I was marginally disappointed. Marginally? I was thoroughly disappointed with that. <laughs> They better go back and redesign this whole game to make that wall destructible. Eh, Crisis 2 it would. Awesome. But in Crisis 2 you get a really cool rocket launcher, it's called the Jaw. The Jaw. It doesn't give a fuck. So and then there's this guy, this guy didn't get the memo that the fight was over. <laughs> Lip long ching chong! Lip long! <laughs> Why is he so alive, what the fuck? Uh, he took like, he took like... 90% damage, and then I just shot him once and he died. There's so many guys in this fucking village. What about the girls? There's only one girl, right? Yeah, it's a sausage fest. Ah, oh, you know, ah, oh, Bukaki up in this village. <laughs> man. You just know it. Just like Smurf. Just like the Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do that a lot, them Smurfs. I've heard about them. Oh my god, we're just ruining, like, childhood memories right now. Smurfs equals Bukaki. <laughs> awesome. Aren't you supposed to go to, to them or something, or where are you supposed to go now? Uh, I'm supposed to go to the next rendezvous point. But there's still fucking just, dudes. Why don't you just grab a car and drive out? Because driving cars in this game is awful, because cars are awful. Yeah. Wait, do you ever get to take a tank? I mean, you already are a tank, but... So, I don't know yet, because I haven't gotten that far. I have to start playing again, because I finally caught up to where I stopped playing, so... Uh. I gotta do the next couple missions to figure out how they'll play. Mm. <laughs> 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 that one guy- No! You killed my best friend! No, not egg rod today! I love the pistols because they have this like little upward. Oh look, it's Kim Jong! Kim Jong Il! North Korea is North Korea. Korea. But the pistols have this little upward kick that just makes basically you start shooting a dude like in the chest and then it's Prophet, just a headshot. I'm in the town hall. <laughs> Looks like the KPA are using it as an HQ. I'm seeing plans for a research facility. Alright, this video is almost over. Site. Now we can go back to watching Sis. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And here's more sniper ammo, but not like I'm gonna use that. Yeah, need more rockets. Where are all the rockets in this bitch? Right there. You can only carry one, right? Yeah, you can only carry one tube, and one tube has three rockets in it, so... Ah! <laughs> Your guy sounds like such a vagina, though. Dude, but he's a tank, though. Did you see all- he takes- he, he literally tanks tank, tank shots and doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, well, he's not the wasp, the British guy. British guy is kind of like a wasp. The British guy's insane. That was the boy, man. You would tell you kill me. This is Psycho. I'm en route to the extraction point. Yeah, and now I spend the rest of the video just running the extraction point. And run in, run in. Why didn't you go into speed mode? Because I kind of, I honestly forgot God about it. damn it. No, but here's a really pretty waterfall that they put in just because it's really uh, pretty. I like doing that in games where I just stop and look around. Very few games make me do that, but when they do, I'm like, oh, I gotta do that in the map someday. Yeah, I'll go into the waterfall next video because it's actually really fucking nice looking. Oh, god damn it! Alright, let's get back to this.